just want to apologize to all the men that I've converted in that previous introduction. See, that was for my 3% female demographic that I've recently discovered I have on this channel. So all I'm saying is that if you're ever in the market for some 5-2 goodness. So here's a card trick tutorial. So for this trick, I'm going to be using these bad boy robot playing cards. Special shout out to Penguin Magic for dropping these bad boys over. This is a completely customized deck of playing cards featuring a variety of fun, futuristic style robots in the back design and faces. It's a fantastic deck for games and opens up a world of presentational possibilities for magic style routines. So for this trick, we're gonna use these bad boys to illustrate the potential and possibility of time travel. That's right, time travel, ladies and gentlemen, with this ordinary deck of regulation playing cards. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give these bad boys a little bit of a mix, a little bit of one of these regulation style shuffles. You can mix the cards like this. You can mix the cards like this. You could even mix the cards like this. Look at that, a real genuine shuffle, sir. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but every single deck of regulation playing cards has two jokers in it, sir. Two jokers that actually act as uh, what could potentially be cards that allow you to time travel. Stay with me. Stay with me, sir. See, if we place these jokers on the bottom of the deck as they came from the factory and we do one of these magic moves, look at that. One of these. Or one of these. Or one of these. The ladies know about that one. <laughs> um, it actually brings the deck back to the same order that it started in the factory from, sir. Look at that. All the cards in new deck order all from the jokers being placed magically on the bottom and all of that tomfoolery uh makes you really wanna never see a woman right are you a lonely loser that needs something in his life i got just the thing for you that's right you the pig cake magic academy where five dollars a month gets you two videos every single week going over card and coin stuff you get access to over 800 videos because you get access to two tutorials that i don't post anywhere else look at the list of content that you get all you need is to look at the link in the description below to join the pig cake magic academy today rave reviews all around and you can now become the life of the party so this is what i like to call a real false shuffle what i mean by that is that you're really shuffling the cards but you're not really you're shuffling only the two jokers that's it those are the only two cards that you're mixing in the deck and the rest of the deck stays in the same order so I don't recommend doing this routine. It was just a proof of concept. Really the meat and potatoes of this particular trick is the uh, false shuffle that I'm gonna show you in a minute. But here's the setup for this particular trick. If you really wanna get them um, digits, you're gonna get the deck in new deck order, and then you're gonna take the two jokers and place them on top. That's all you need for this bad boy. And all you're gonna do here is whatever set of false shuffles you want. You could do this, you could do that one where it looks like you're mixing up, but really I'm doing nothing. I'm just cycling through the cards like this and it looks like an overhand shuffle. I'm not doing diddly squat. You could do one of these, which I've taught before. It just looks like you're mushing the packets together. But again, you're not doing diddly squat. And here's the real hot one. What you're going to do is you're going to get a break underneath the second joker from the top of the deck. At this point, you're going to lift approximately half the cards and swivel cut these bad boys to the top of the packet. Now, if you're a cardistry virgin, you do that each and every single time. But through the magic of editing, I'm gonna make those jokers appear in my hand. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So you're gonna swing cut those over and you're gonna regrip both of these halves like this. So you're gonna just turn this half over so it's face up in your hand and same thing with this half in the left hand. Now at this point, what you're gonna do is you're just simply gonna pull down on those two jokers in your left hand so that's all that's going to happen now with the rest of your thumb you notice that the base of the thumb is in contact with those two jokers and the rest of the thumb could actually riffle off those cards fairly easily now obviously you want to make sure that you have a tight enough grip so that the cards don't fall out of your hand but what you're going to do is you're just going to riffle off these cards into the fingertips of the right hand and then you're going to riffle off all the cards from your right hand now here's the thing you're going to let the two jokers fall at the same time that you're riffling the cards off of your right hand. So those jokers are gonna go somewhere in the middle of the shuffle and legitimately look like the rest of the half is being mixed. So at speed, it looks a little bit like this. You swing cut the cards over, you pull down the jokers, 
And there, you've essentially mixed those two jokers into the rest of the half, but it looks like those cards are being meshed together. Really, it's only two cards that were meshed together, which is the two jokers. So if you spread the cards, you're gonna notice that the deck is in new deck order, all apart from two cards, which is one joker over here, and this joker actually stayed on top. But when combining those two actions, it really looks like a haphazard shuffle. Those cards are going in each and every single direction, but really those jokers are being the only cards that are being mixed into the deck. So now at this point, for the sake of the routine, you could spread to the cards and mention the fact that there are two cards that are the time traveler cards, which happen to be the jokers. Now, really, you want to get them somewhere in the middle. So that way you actually pull the cards out. But if they're on top, that's going to be no problem. Now you're going to show the jokers and say that if we put the cards where they started, which is in the bottom of the deck, we could actually take the deck back in time to when we pulled it out of the box. And you could do whatever magic move you want, whatever Shane Diesel magic move if you get my drift and show the cards to be a new deck order. But really, you have a nice way of using a real shuffle to false shuffle the cards. And the real shuffle is only on the jokers. It's only on the jokers. So who would have thunk it? Now, of course, there are other ways to do this. If you want to do this on a table this way and you're holding these two jokers and you could do it that way. Now, if you want a virgin alternative to this particular shuffle, you don't have to have any sort of slip cut. You have the deck in new deck order and all you have to do is just riffle to whatever card you want. Now, here at this point, you're only going to mix one card into the deck, which is going to be the top card, which is whatever you cut to. So at this point, you're going to let all the cards fall from your left hand. You're going to riffle these cards from your right hand. You're going to let this card fall and then riffle the remaining cards. So now what that's done is that that's only misplaced one card in the deck. And let's see if we could spot it here. The King of Clubs is the only card that's been misplaced, but it looks like you've generally shuffled the deck. That one at speed looks a little bit like this, and it just looks like you mix the cards up haphazardly, but really it's only one card that's out of place, which happens to be the Six of Diamonds. And this time it happened to have landed on top, my favorite position. So there are many different variations of this particular shuffle, but it does look genuine because those cards are going somewhere in the middle of the deck. Now it is going to take a lot of virginity in terms of practice, but I think you're more than capable of that. Oh boy, that was a fun one. A little bit of an advanced move, right? It's not going to sue all you guys because it's not a true perfect false shuffle, but I'm sure most of you guys are going to like that and do it and perform it and show the ladies at the, uh, at the club. Oh boy. Well, do the things that people do when it comes to videos. I don't know how else to end this. I just had a, a Diet Coke. That's kind of cool. Still working on my lecture. Still working on that bad boy. Really enjoying the pieces that are in there. If you're a longtime Pig Cake fan, I'm sure you know most of the bits. But it should be fun nevertheless, right? It's a good, good best of, the best of uh, Pig Cake, if you could ever even say that. Um, uh...